Hello everyone. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, grind these other cubes up. I have one more like this that I have to grind as well. Plus I have six more in the works being made right now. Uh, and I think uh, how many would be available? Three of them? There's two or three I think might be available out of that batch yet. But anyways, uh, this is a standard uh, squaring cube that we're going to be making. We've done uh, some videos on that. If you haven't seen them, you can just back up a few videos and you see those. And this is a special one that we're making right here. When I was training uh, my son Michael, uh, he did uh, most of the machine work on this. And as I was training him, uh, we used this. But we also uh, got this so that I can bolt this down to the mill table. We got uh, uh, clearance for uh, a half inch socket head cap screws over there and then I got a hole pattern set so that when we uh, do our uh, multi uh, axis adjusting tool it's a project that you can back way up and see a video we'll probably put a link to that uh, it's a it's a tool that we got a pat pending it's used for wire EDM work for adjusting a part in in uh, three different axes it works real sweet and uh, so we we got to actually get back on tracking, start building those as well. So anyhow, this is my son Michael. It's his uh, block, and uh, this one is going to go to a customer. Uh, the other one I have will actually the next few of these will be going out to a customer. Uh, eventually, we'll be making one like this for ourselves, and I'll be putting probably these half 13 clearance holes in the side uh, of the one that we're using too so that we can actually bolt it down on the mill table as well and because I'll be using that for some other special purposes anyways as if you watch your videos uh, I mentioned that we're having a hard time getting the radiac wheels that I like and so they did have these in stock they are a little bit different as far as the hardness uh, uh, we were sent uh, this F hardness uh, which I I, I can't remember even using uh, F grade. I don't know if this is going to be too soft. I don't know how well it's going to work. But uh, I'm going to try this on this material. It's DC 53. It's at 6062 Rockwell. Uh, it's went through the chirogenic process. And uh, I'm curious to see how well this grinds. And if this doesn't work, they sent me a G wheel, uh, which is going to be very close to what I've been using. If that doesn't work, I can always fall back on the ceramic mix that we used uh, on the last cube, which did leave a nice finish, and it did maintain the accuracy. So anyways, uh, in this video, this will be the first time I ever used this wheel. You'll see it as I'm using it. So we're going to cut over to the surface grinder, get everything prepped and set over there. Now this is that uh, F hardness wheel. I just touch off my high spot, and when I put the guarding on, I didn't realize that I... Uh, I want my zip another thousand, so I got a strip down here that's about a thousand deep. So our first cut, we're just going to take a thousand off and see what it looks like. It definitely sounds nice. For a thou cut, the finish looks pretty good. I'm just going to go about five tenths, six tenths, something like that. about one tenth with a well, about tenth and a half now. What I want to do is I want to see if the leading edge of this is breaking way down. So I can look now for sparks. If they're sparking close to the leading edge, the leading edge isn't breaking down. If I get halfway into my wheel before it does and then I, I, I can know that I'm I'm breaking that leading edge down. So we'll see what it looks like now at two tenths. That's after 2000, and you see I don't see any sparks right there. And now I'm just starting about halfway through. 
I'm starting to spark, so it does break down a little bit more, which is uh, something I would expect with the softer wheel. At this point, I'm not real concerned as far as being ultra flat. Uh, I'm just going to get some cleanups on here, get her in close. Uh, what I call my rough grind. Uh, what I'll do after that, uh, once I get it within a couple tenths, and then uh, I'll do the finish grind on it. Right now I'm using a very uh, aggressive Y-axis traverse. And it was nice taking that two tenths coming across there. It cleans up all the way. So the wheel is actually breaking down pretty nice. It'll be interesting to see how it goes when we get to the point where I do the final finish, the final grind, uh, because preliminary results, it's looking pretty good. From what I can see over here, the finish it looks pretty good. Again, I'm not expecting it to be as good as I can get it. I can see some lines in there. But again, I'm being quite aggressive with it, just to get the roughing of it. Okay, what I'm going to do now, like I say, I can see some lines and streaks, but one, I, I bumped the wheel when I went in. I could have I could have messed the wheel bottom up a little bit. But when I took just the light cuts and then I get about halfway across the wheel and it spark, it spark all the way across. What I'm doing now is just generally getting it flat. I'm going to go and take this and uh, blow it all off, flip it over. We're going to get that side clean up. I'm going to redress the wheel and just take some light cuts and then that's when I'll be able to tell the finish uh, some of the other characteristics of this wheel. And you see uh, we're hitting with the very leading edge so the little bit we ground off the other side, uh, the where we had is not even, uh, well we're about a thousand two tenths. So you can see it didn't even break down that much. And that's pretty good considering the amount of area that we're actually cutting here. the preliminary grind I'm gonna to have to set it up because one of the things I failed to do that I told you that I always like to do I like to break the edge with one of the scotch bright uh, I think they call them convoluted wheels and uh, actually uh, one of these type of wheels right here uh, those things work great for deburring and so I, I, I got me a little shiny spot on this corner and I'm gonna to have to take that out uh, it's always best to do that before you grind and then that way you can break these edges so they're not razor sharp. That F wheel left an excellent finish on it, but it's like it's got some little streaks uh, on the other side. I don't know where that come from. Uh, and it did seem to be a little bit harder to control the flatness on there. Uh, right now we have this set so each of the uh, little individual marks uh, is 50 millionths of an inch. We'll go from there, we're about minus 50 and 5 inches, which actually is pretty darn good.
So we're within the 50 millionths. Maybe just a little over. I'll switch this over to metric and since the last time I've done this I, I'll try to uh, figure this out. It's kind of nice because if I go into this setting right here uh, each of those marks is five millionths. Up here if I go to this mark uh, and then each uh, each little mark is 50 millionths. If I'm on uh, this side, uh, this is uh, 10 uh, microns, I believe, uh, from here to here. And uh, so if you divide it down, I don't know if there's a metric name for it when you get to each mark, but it equals out about 20 millionths. So what's kind of nice, it's actually 19.6. Uh, but uh, what's nice here, I can get a 5 millionths resolution. On the metric side, I can get about a 20 millionths resolution. I can get a 50 over here. So that's just a nice range to be in. And so for 10 mic microns here, uh, over here we're 5 microns from here to here. So from here to here we're two and a half microns. And so that would be, yeah, let me see if I get this right. You get 10 microns, 5 microns, two and a half microns, and then whatever that divided by 5 would be. So it actually come out pretty good and uh, like I said I, I had to work a little harder with that F grade wheel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the G grade and I'm going to work on that and see how it works and if I have to work really hard at it and then I'm probably going to switch back to that ceramic aluminum oxide mix because that worked very well on, on uh, the first block. Uh, the finish right here uh, like I say it looks pretty good. I don't know what happened on this side but I got me a little streak over there other than that uh, that finish uh, has come out really nice but we'll, we'll switch to the G wheel and see what we get okay we finally got it had to go back up there a couple times uh, but uh, the finish with that uh, G wheel is much nicer and it was easier to control sizes. Uh, it actually sounded nicer and everything. And and uh, maybe maybe the F wheel grit that I had, I'm I'm thinking it's too soft. Um, when I get my H wheels, I think I might even be just a tad better than this. But uh, we'll have to wait till those come in. But anyhow, we're easily within the 50 millionths that we're shooting for. So you can see that way is really good and if I go 180 degrees on the other end you can see it's off just right at the, a little less than 50 millionths. So if we go here And go 180 degrees. You can see that thing's really good. Within the 50 millionths. And that's that's an entire 5 inch range. And so uh, you divide that by 5 to see how far you're out per inch. And uh, so it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to go from here and we're going to grind the side square in parallel. It's getting late today, so we're going to pick this uh, video up again tomorrow morning.